Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So we had a pretty um, up and down day, and we'll look at that on the lower time frames now. Uh, looking at the eight hour, we've got another grouping of the oscillators, and looking like a crossover. I want to see the oscillators above the twenty here before um, that gives me the confirmation that we may very well have a, a change in direction happening. Uh, we did end up with a range bar here going into the close you can see this big up and down and uh, that was just based on on biden speech so uh, before his speech everybody's panicking and off during his speech everybody's kind of happy and then after his speech we sort of like drift lower again so um big up and down day nothing really in this and it is messy you know this this doesn't give you the the feeling that uh you we're going to continue sliding and it also doesn't give you the, the opinion that we are actually at a bottom of a range or looking for a move to the upside so this is really really messy we do have cpi data coming out today and remember everything is around inflation at the moment all the fears around inflation and supply chain um, problems so for me at the moment this is actually nowhere um you know we do have a bit of a pin bar but then we've got an engulfing bar. The pin bar is still very much in play. We need to get a break above um, 32.464, uh, and that gives us the opportunity probably to come and target um, well, any one of these tails, but I suspect they'll probably pick up on the moving averages, and then at the base case scenario would be tackling the 155 here at 20 area. Uh, but then again, you've got an engulfing bar pattern here, which is also in play, but that validates on a break of 31.914. So two trades, that's why I've got uh, those two levels in. And uh, then this middle line here is really just the diagonal trend line uh, from on the weekly. So it's a weekly, or oh, this one's a monthly, but it's a monthly trend line that we are flirting with at the moment. So that's kind of the, the scenario here. Uh, you can see here, break above these swing uh, swing lows here, or swing highs, should I rather say, from uh, Monday. And then a rejection at the open, big move down, big move up, big move down. And when I'm talking big moves, I mean, so we slide 2.5%, uh, and, and then we rally 1.6%, and then we slide again. And for those of you that are awake this morning, um 280 that's a triangle so it is a consolidation pattern so for me this is still you know very it's kind of on the edge it's um not something that that's easy to trade and you can see that how uh, we're drifting finding support on the moving averages rallied above you'd expect okay if we find support on the 155 or one of the levels here great opportunity for to jump in for a continuation up that didn't materialize um, we f sunk like a stone pretty much uh, found some support lower down and then rallied back into this area so um, too messy for me at the moment really really too messy looking at the oscillators as well in the 15 minute probably another leg down i don't see any real movement until the uh, cpi number comes out this afternoon and then also you've got the ecb talking this morning which uh, could impact the euro and also the uh, which would impact the DAX at the same time so that may just uh, create a little bit of volatility for us here but for me this is um, sit and wait it's still sit and wait uh, there's no clear signal here for me that is indicating a direction of anything so um, I think I mentioned it uh, yesterday in one of the comments uh, it's really looking like um, hunting of stop losses at the moment so you'll see you'll have um, bulls that, that have come in and uh, you know, they're pushing the price far past their entry point just to try hit the stop losses and the same thing with um, the bears so the bears come in with their shorts and then the price pushes past quickly to catch their stop losses and then down again so this is all algorithms that are trading this and it's not it's not healthy for us to actually get involved in this to be honest so yeah so the down for me is, is still a certain hands uh, until we start uh, getting some kind of structure and we're going to have to start breaking sort of the high of yesterday would be an example. But um, if I just take these two levels here, 
let's take this one here there's the high of Monday and I do that uh, not this one and there's the high of oh, sorry the low of Monday you can see there's the high and low so we drop below the low of Monday and we touch the top of the high so that's so you top the high of Monday so you know does this validate a break of um, the Monday daily bar so for another move down uh, or is this just a case of are we trying to form a range and that would be the bigger range so yeah I'm, I'm set on hands there's also divergence here on the hour you can see it keeps drifting higher while price is drifting lower so um, I'm clearly set on hands not looking to chase shorts here um, I'm sort of looking at it with uh, with a bullish view if it's a slightly bullish view but I'm gonna need to confirmation before even jumping in on this one anyway that's it for me uh, confusion and uh, just sitting waiting for something to happen yeah hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow cheers for now